Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for this uh, very short video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use Fortran to read the data organized in a matrix. Um, I see there are so many videos on the uh, YouTube that can walk you through how to read the data in the text file, but uh, I don't see many videos can show you um, how to read the data if you know the data are organized in a matrix. You know, for my job, I use Fortran to do a lot of computation, and uh, for the most data sets I deal with, they uh, most of them they are all organized in the matrix. So I think it is important uh, to to have some skills, you know, to uh, to deal with the data, you know, organized in a matrix. You know, how to read the data, how to manipulate the data, and how to do the computation. Actually, I don't think this is hard, and I believe several lines of code are enough, you know, to handle this. So in this video, I'm gonna to, I'm gonna show you a very simple example, and hope this can help you. Okay, then let me use an example to show how to do this. Okay, so here is example. Suppose that uh. Uh, here is a project, and uh, you need to calculate the average air temperature in 2019 in Calgary, Canada. So the data set you have right now has the uh, daily uh, minimum temperature and the daily maximum temperature in 2019. And uh, then you need to calculate the average temperature. And actually, the way how to calculate the average temperature in 2019 is very simple. It just like uh, the minimum temperature plus the maximum temperature and divided by two. Okay, so for the data set, the data set right now you have has a dimension of 365 times three. And the first column is the day numbers in 2019. And you know, 2019 has 365, so it is very reasonable. The dimension, you know, the legs of the row is 365. So for the second column is the minimum temperature in 2019. And the third column is the maximum temperature in 2019. So you need to calculate the average temperature based on the value in the second column and third column. So here is the uh, data set looks like. Okay, as I said, uh, the total dimension of this data set is a 365 times 3. You see, the first column is the day number in 2019, and the second column is the uh, minimum temperature, and the third column is the maximum temperature, and uh, the total dimension is 365 times 3. Okay, so let's go back the uh, fortune codes. Actually, this code is not is <clears throat> is not hard at all. It's and I think it's very easy to understand. So basically, I divided the whole code into four parts. Uh, for the part one, I defined all the parameters and the variables I'm gonna use in in this program. So basically, I only defined two integer parameters. The first one is called the num. And the num is the uh, total day numbers in 2019, which is 365. And the second integer is i. And you know, I use i to define a loop, and I use this loop to read the data and do the computation, which I'm gonna mention it later. So for the second part, second part, I define several dynamic array, you know, and I use them to read the data and uh, to do the computation. So there are totally four dynamic array. The first one is an integer dynamic array, and uh, I use this one to read the first column of the data set, which is a day number, and the day number, there are integers. So here I define this dynamic array as an integer dynamic array. For the second uh, dynamic array, is a temperature minimum, and I use this dynamic array to read the minimum temperature in 2019. And the third one, 
I use this dynamic array to read the maximum temperature in 2019. And the first one, I define this dynamic array and I use this one to do the computation to calculate the average uh, temperature in 2019. And here you need to allocate all of them and this is just a fortune syntax and you have to put the line of code here. Okay, for the third part, third part, I just, you know, specify where the data set is that I'm, I'm going to deal with. And for the part four, actually part four, I create a loop and I use this loop to read the data row by row and do the computation. And you see there, uh, because this num is 365 days, so I want to use this loop to read the data 365 times and do 365 times computation. So, for example, when i is equal to 1, then the program goes here. Then the program will read the first line of the data set, which is the, uh, the program will read this three data first. It read day number first, then the program will read the minimum temperature, then maximum temperature. Okay, then after the program read this three data, the program will do a computation to calculate the average temperature for the first day of 2019. Then when the computation is done, I want the uh, program to print out the result, which is the day number and uh, the average temperature. Then the first round is done. Then the loop enters into the uh, second round. Then this loop will do 365 times. So it will calculate the uh, daily average temperature day by day all the way down to the uh, all the way down to the end of the uh, uh, the year 2019 and when the loop is done you have to de allocate all the uh, all the dynamic arrays and you know release the uh, storage okay so this is it and uh, it's fairly easy and simple um, if you have any question about how to read the data organized in a matrix just leave a comment and I'd like to answer you if as much as I can. Well, thanks for watching and hope this can help you a little bit. Have a good day.